It's time to talk about the future. We're always looking for ways to make a positive impact. You are listening to A Sustainable Future by Los Amigos. Hello everyone who is listening and seeing us here on the camera, maybe on YouTube later, but mostly we produce this podcast for iTunes. This is number eight of our podcast series and today we are here with Carlos. Carlos, how is it going? Hey Nico, I'm good and I'm glad to be here with you um, for this new generation of podcast because we have this new brand new equipment. Yeah, if you can't see us, we have yeah brand new equipment here. We have a um, sound engineer who installed us the most advanced equipment we ever had. So hopefully you hear us now with crystal clear sound. Carlos is here with us, but Carlos is actually here with us every day because you're part of our team. It's funny that we're doing this two, two not English native speaker doing this podcast now in uh, in English. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you uh, be not too hard with our English. So it's interesting to have you here today. Thank you for doing this because you did something extraordinary with the team right now. You organized a special event we have this Saturday. Tell us about this event and what it's all about. Well. First of all, that's funny that you t that you say that we are doing this podcast in, in English uh, because I believe that Tulum is an international community that's right. and Los Amigos it's uh, one very, very nice brand that it's uh, building this international community uh, since 2012 here in Tulum and for me that's very special and uh, well, this this event that we will be doing and what was the idea with the event yeah well that's exactly. this is the first time we're doing this right exactly well not in this form but in this form we, yeah. we, we, we've been doing this kind of uh, events but in the past well so this is like a summit but we want we wanted to make it more like a festival uh, a festival of cultures in Tulum and we were gathering in Los Amigos Cine or new or old uh, movie room here in, in Tulum and we will be inviting all Tulum people to join us and have a open space for talks about sustainability in, in its natural and most purest way like uh, we're inviting cultural organizations um, from all kinds, from architecture to to children, you know, and people we will will be here in Tulum, like talking about what they do in communities to make Tulum better, a more uh, sustainable way of thriving uh, economically. Uh, we want to progress more, but without compromising our future or the future generations in Tulum. And I think this event is very important for community in Tulum, so they can come together and talk between they, them and say what they are doing and inspire others to do more for their communities and small groups in Tulum because here it's a really big international community and yeah. we Los Amigos want to close the, 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 the gap between, between groups, you know. Yeah. Yeah, remember you came to me and said, Nico, we're doing so much incredible things for this town but the town doesn't know about it and all the people living here. So we, we, sh we should invite more the local community and explain them what we do, because there's a lot of things they can learn actually from the activities we do inside the companies and give it to them to have even a bigger impact, right? Exactly. People should be more acknowledged of what Los Amigos do in Tulum and what are, what are our goals for, for make a more sustainable Tulum, introducing technologies, G gathering with people, making Tulum better, step by step, right? Yeah. And, and I think that's something really, really cool that the, the Los Amigos company do, do for Tulum. And I think these kind of events will be more and more often so we can gather more people and make the people listen to, to their hearts, you know, because at, right. uh, actually uh, we, th we think that being sustainable is more, be more aware, aware of themselves. So if you're aware of yourself, you can do more for, for you and, and that will be doing more for your community. Yeah. You have this great line here. One of your dreams is to create uh, 
conscious about that people understand that the, the whole universe is connected. Tell us about that. Well, that's a really interesting <laughs> point because at the end of the day, even science can, uh, can, com can approve that, you know, that all people are connected somehow, you know, chemically with the universe. And if you are here in Tulum, you can feel that connection more because there is a lot of nature here and when you look at nature you you reflect yourself into the nature and then you see how big we are you can look at the stars you can look at the at the moon and and then you see okay that's that's big right and that's inside of all of us and when you when you look at it you you you, you feel more in connection with with your own nature right and that's why tulum it's a really special place right. and That's why we want to keep it like that. Uh, so as it gets bigger and bigger, this community should be aware of that and understand that coming to Tulum and living in Tulum, it's to keep that in mind. Yeah. I think we kind of having the luxury living in Tulum because it's still a small town and feeling this connection, appreciate this connection. And one of the ideas is to transmit this connection to other places who maybe don't live in the natural environment like we blessed in, in Tulum. Right? So I think this forum can be a great platform just to start now. We just started, so it's we have we have also not the community we want to talk to. We have also a lot of experts who see the activities we're doing all the time and they feel the connection with us. And so this forum, I think, is a great way to bring the expert together with the local community and share all the great ideas we we all have uh, we all we all have in common. Exactly. Um, this, the, the experts that are coming to our, our, our summit are one psychologist that she, she's, she's been working very close with the, the community of Tulum, like mm -hmm. helping them to, to live happy, you know, that's, that's the first talk in, the, in the, okay. the first conference, it's about living in happiness because people doesn't know how to live happy and it's very interesting because the most natural way to innovate this body is to be happy and The second uh, and third uh, conferences are about sustainability, like in architecture and uh, working with children and letting children grow with cultural understanding of their surroundings. And after that, we will have uh, another conference about technology with you that you will well tell everything that Los Amigos is. Uh, but it's very interesting and what I like about this conference is that not, not the, mo the common conference of Los Amigos. It's very different because it's your own understanding as a foreigner that come here and feel that in Tulum, right? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about your, your, your talk, your conference? Okay, yeah, yeah. I gonna have one little talk too and it's mainly because I'm a foreigner so I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to live in this country to work with Mexicans you guys are amazing right I say always the most important thing is the people in this country so as I fall in love I fall literally in love with the people and uh, as we created the company we were not developers but we saw a development and thought I think we can do something different <laughs> because sustainable development didn't happen really in Mexico so much And uh, not a lot of people planned long term and didn't plan, uh, and didn't 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 knew much about the impact in the environment, neither in the social community. So we started with with uh, with this develop so is, um, with a different approach to make sustainable development with the three P's or the three areas like the the economy, the the impact in the environment, and the in impact in the social community so we're trying to make a positive impact in all the three areas and it's just a nice history telling our honest story from how, how we got here what was a dream it was a dream to be, go to Mexico as a tourist it was a dream to learn the language and it was a dream to start our first project and now it's a dream to fly uh, over the jungle with the first passenger drone in the world so we're really excited about everything we, we're doing and put a lot of passion and effort in, in every every single project and yeah everything Everything we do, we do it with a mission above us to make a positive impact. Because I think companies, organizations, they have a lot of power today. And if companies grow, like our company grew a lot too, they have more 
power and they have more responsibility. And we want to show the world and our people who work for us that we really can make a positive impact. And everyone is really important to help with this mission. And you're one of the part, and that's what we said. Let's 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 make as a team a conference who benefits as much people as we can reach in our in our area right now with everything we do. So I'm happy just to be part of it. Cool. Yeah. Well. So I'm happy to share. This event will be our first, and I hope will be the first of many. And we invite everyone who's listening to this to to see it, to see what what Los Amigos is doing, but also what other organizations and persons are doing for the community of Tulum. And leave Tulum not just by the the leave it by the core, not just leave Tulum by what you see in tourism places but go inside the, the roots and leave Tulum with the people, reach, reach them and close the gaps between tourism and real living in Tulum. That's, that's very important for us to, to have it in mind. You made a nice transition too, because, okay, I'm a foreigner, I moved from Germany to Mexico, but you moved from Mexico City, one of the most dense cities in the world. <laughs> yeah. You moved to Tulum, so how was that switch for you? Well, I have been coming to Tulum for for years, mm -hmm. and once as I yeah, as a tourist, yeah, yeah. But uh, the the opportunity that I had to come to Los Amigos was really amazing because you live very different, and and I love working here in Los Amigos because you work all time rush, you know. But then you go out of the office and everything is peace and calm, and that's why I I think living in Tulum can be just as perfect as living in the city but without the hassle and the stress and all the all the things that are in the city that we don't like that much so i i believe tulum is the paradise and and i'm compromised to keep it like it is awesome carlos thank you very much for being here to do this in english the most we can hope for is saturday because we're sitting in the studio right now and it's raining heavily <laughs> hopefully yeah. What's the name of the the god of the of the rain? Chak Chakmol. 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 Here in Maya, it's <laughs> Chakmol. So we don't have rain on Saturday, but actually the conference are inside of the cinema, which 100% uh, inside. But we have also the the garden area, the jungle area. We want to extend the whole event a little bit. So if you hear this before this Saturday, which is uh, 26, right? Yeah. Then be happy to join. It's completely free, and we have hopefully some interesting conferences Carlos is going to be there I'm going to be there later on and yeah hopefully that was interesting and hear or see each other on the next podcast thank you hasta luego thank, thank you, you Nico Carlos. thank you guys see you later it's time to talk about the future we're always looking for ways to make a positive impact you are listening to a sustainable future by Los Amigos